Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Another Fat Guy Cooks, Crime and Nourishment. I am here with Doug Stanhope and Bingo Bingerman. Say hello guys. Hello! <laughs> How's everybody doing? We're fantastic. Great. After uh, That was quite a hangover uh, uh, after last night, after that uh, thing we did. Oh, I'm still fucked, yeah. Yeah, we, we we went on at some point. I, I I don't think I can stand up. I like I could see Chad Shank right in front of me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, but I, I like it was a blurry image. Uh, like I was tripping almost. I like I I have to fall down. I, <laughs> and I can't blame one edible because I do one edible all the time. It was yeah. the but the edible does crank it up a notch, does it not? It oh, really oh does. Yeah, I've got a <laughs> fridge full of frozen gummy bears that I made uh, that obviously have nothing illegal in them. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's still illegal over there. <laughs> that's <laughs> embarrassing. Right, so um, you're the, the reason we've got you, uh, well, uh, we, I, have got you on here is... Um, Wait, first of all, Bingo, before we forget, Bingo okay. had a question oh Where sure did you get that t-shirt oh okay so the t-shirt is from a guy called i want to say his name is smiley happy let me just find him on twitter he's a, an artist that i've spoken to on twitter who sent me a free t-shirt and stickers and things uh here we go uh s at smiley die happy on okay. Twitter, and uh, he's a cool, he's a really cool artist. You know, a little small operation. Okay, okay so, I love this. You know, fucking Alistair Crowley oh, is the cookie uh, monster. Uh, uh, Who doesn't love that? Bingo just got some fan mail in the mail, some mm -hmm. stickers. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I've got the exact same thing stuck on the side of my PC down here. Yeah, I just yeah. didn't have any yeah, tell, idea. Tell no that, return address or yeah, it was Connecticut. It was okay. all we could read from the his shitty handwriting. But tell him thank you and I love it. No, tell him fuck you. Why does Hack Audit get a T-shirt and the wife only gets stickers? <laughs> because they don't probably do them in that smaller size. Anybody who wants a nerdy T-shirt like this is probably a fat fuck. As you can tell by Bingo, yeah, she doesn't wear a lot of t-shirts, so no. stickers are fine. Usually gl glittery bras and nothing is pretty much all I've seen you in. <laughs> yeah. So um, I bought you one because I do a little segment called Crime and Nourishment where I get on my way more famous friends and ask them what they've done to be put on death row and what their last meal is going to be. So, Doug and Bingo, you are both on death row. You're locked up. You're getting executed soon. What did you do? Well, uh, mine's pretty cut and dried. I was an under uh, undercover reporter, investigative journalist, who got some uh, paperwork made up. They put me on death row so I could write a story about what it's like being in death row. And then I spend my time there. I write my article uh, on uh, shards and scraps of paper. And then I, 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 I hide them in my asshole so I don't get caught. I, my cover's not blown. <laughs> but at some point, they fuck up the paperwork. Some dunderhead spills a cup of coffee on my paperwork. They don't find and I And then I'm eventually, 17 later, years later, I'm actually going to the lecture chair. And I'm like, call my editor. Call my fucking editor. And I, uh, we, we don't buy any of this. And I'm screaming. And I go, where's my lawyer? And my lawyer can't get in to see me. It's a whole, I, I wrote a script. He told me to just come up with some fantastical scenario why I'm on uh -huh. death row. But I wrote it into a 233-page a, a, a script, which is almost a four-hour movie. So really, you gave me the leaping off point. And then that's why I'm on death row. So for my last meal, but uh, bingo, why are you on death row? Wait, do I get an executive producer credit for that or what? <laughs> we have, my people will call your people. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Bingo. Are you ready for me? Absolutely. Okay. It's one reason and one reason only. Mm -hmm. Traffic tickets. And she was framed. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, cool, right. Well, I know why you're both on death row, and I'm terrified to ask you this because we sort of talked about it slightly yesterday while I was on the Zoom call, and you gave me that look that you give people when you do things like bring Inman on to trick Mishka <laughs> on a podcast, and now I'm slightly terrified, but what's your last meal going to be, Doug? Well, I, I, I thought about it as I was eating it, going, because uh, uh, the, the whole premise of crime and nourishment, you act like, uh, okay, well, I'm going to, uh, you say what your last meal is, I'm going to prepare it, and then I'm going to come back and eat it in front of you, mm -hmm. as though that's some kind of weird punishment, like, oh, I have to watch him eat it, and I can't, but I have it in my fridge. Anyone who has their favorite food, they could eat it right then. It's not like you're doing this to an actual death row inmate. But then when I realized that, yeah, my 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 favorite comfort food is something you wouldn't want to eat, I go, well, yeah, this is <laughs> this is how it should go. And, and and then bingo, you already know her dietary things. She eats some pretty weird shit. So <laughs> so we're, we're not fucking with you. Mm -hmm. My comfort food, Jello. You have Jello over there. Jello. Do you have yeah, Jello? We have we have Jello. Okay, so I like Jello with this the nuclear orange French dressing. <laughs> it's not over yet, baby. With bacon bits. These are baked. Up. <laughs> bacon. Right. Okay. Okay. So that that was a comfort food, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you how. When I was a kid, my mother would make Jello molds. You know, the round is like a bunt cake mold. Yeah. And it's Jello, and it's got pieces of fruit like pineapple and mandarin oranges mm -hmm. floating in it somehow. Uh, and, and then, but she would uh, like sprinkle it with a uh, uh, Thousand Island dressing or French dressing. And we just wanted the jello, but she has all this shit on it. So so we'd eat it with the dressing, and then bacon bits became part of it. Uh, and then at some point, when I found this in your country, <laughs> I go, this would be a great addition to my fucking sad comfort food. I like like a like a heavy set girl who cries and eats Hagen dazs And I'd eat my thing all by myself. Well uh -huh. then. I discovered lumpfish caviar. In your okay, country. I know about lumpfish caviar because me and <laughs> yeah. you ate that in London. Yeah, well, I added that into. Of course, you did. Jello, Western <laughs> French dressing, and bacos to make it crunchy, sweet, uh -huh. salty. Uh, Whatever that the is. Dressing is somewhere in between. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the the four of these. Uh, that's that's my comfort food. Uh, so I want you to uh, like this is just the cheapo Jello. Yeah, but... I've got Jello. Well, I, I use Jello for making the uh, the edibles, so I've I've always got a big stash of that. Okay, but you have to figure out how they would float the fruit inside of it. Okay, like in a Jello just mold. Tie them on little strings and. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how they ever made it. Uh, uh, okay, so we're talking like big bunt cake jello thing cold. covered in Thousand Island dressing, or sprinkled French in French bacon bits. I don't know, do they have this kind of French dressing? The fucking bright orange? Shit? Yeah, I think Thousand yeah. Island. Work. I can I can make Thousand Island. It's fucking mayo and ketchup. Yeah, anyway, yeah. and then like <laughs> lumpfish caviar and bacon bits on top. Do you have bacos? I can get them. If you don't, you, you have to find real bacon over there. I'll, I'll, you, we they, have real like, bacon. They, <laughs> uh, they call it streaky bacon, I think. The American. Uh, yes, I know. Well, we have both. We can get the streaky bacon and, and you know, the normal Canadian bacon, I think you call it. Oh. Yeah. Or yeah. you could just get fucking you know, bacon. The, you know, Canadian bacon, <laughs> the one with actual meat attached to it and not just all fat. Yeah, well, you burn it down to where the fat kind of disappears. <laughs> whatever, whatever it is. I, no, no, let's fucking fight over this. <laughs> <laughs> got to fill time. <laughs> I'm going to eat this along with you. Okay. Just so, 
they, people don't think I'm, I'm punking you by making you eat something disgusting and not yeah. once have I found I, I'm not 100% convinced you're not punking me at this point but I will I make it everybody that you know that knows me knows I eat this and I don't do it just for show I do this alone in my room and I'll when I get caviar, <laughs> I fucking hoard it. Like, if people see me eating it, they're going to want a bite, but it's a fucking, like, a two-ounce jar. Mm. No, you don't get any. <laughs> oh, I remember you looking at me like I just, like, murdered your firstborn child when I, like, took a big scoop out of it on a potato chip. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're saying that if I'd murdered your firstborn child, it probably wouldn't be a terrible thing. No, no. <laughs> bad, bad example. <laughs> <laughs> and bingo bingo who's like that's just that's one of my weird ones but it is an, a legitimate uh comfort food bingo who has been through a, a course of weird shit she eats only one thing and one thing only mm -hmm. for months, months at a time. yep and uh they change but the one that we always bring up and it's my favorite one too Okay, so for me, you're gonna be cooking two ingredients, V8, mm -hmm. spicy hot. You have to get spicy hot V8. Okay. And then you take a cup of cottage cheese, you put it in the mix, you put it in the microwave for a minute 20, and this turns into bubble gum. You can actually chew it like bubble gum. Do you know what cheese curds are? I know what cheese curds are, yeah. But is that cottage cheese or cheese? It's squeaky. cottage but, cheese. But cottage cheese in a microwave turns into basically squeaky cheese, they call it here. Cheese yeah, curds. like the fucking Canadian, like in poutine. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know about poutine, but I know <laughs> yeah, in wouldn't. Wisconsin, they, they eat this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cheese it curds. Squeak, it squeaks yeah. on your teeth when you eat mm -hmm. it. So it, it bubbles up like pop. Okay. Cookies. And it's in a bed of V8 juice. Do you have V8 juice over there? Because you might have to make it. I can probably buy it or make it, but it's just blended vegetables, right? Yes. Right. I'll, I'll, okay. read you, I'll read you the ingredients. Don't forget, spicy hot. <laughs> of course you will. Vegetable <laughs> juice. Ba, ba, ba. Carrots, celery, beets, parsley, lettuce, watercress, spinach, salt, and then the other things. Don't forget um, the watercress. Okay, it's important. Obviously, no, I mean, it's Yeah, it's if you have to buy a juicer for this, <laughs> you might have to make your own V8 juice. And this is not the spicy hot. So you're going to have to put some Joby Spite sauce in it. I've, I've got okay. some of that, so we can do that. Okay. So they're, they're not big meals, uh, but they're uh, two comfort foods you can do at the same time. And loads of stuff that, you know, is really difficult to buy during a, uh, a pandemic. So that, <laughs> that'll be fun. You, you, you can cheat on the watercress and make it <laughs> celery. What? <I> don't what? Know. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this should be called uh, Settle a Bet. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who, whose gross comfort food is more appealing? Mine yeah, well, down in the comments right now, who's, whose is the fucking most disgusting? Bingo's or Stanhope's? All right, man, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, so, yeah, I will get on with making these meals. I'll give you a message, you know, over the next few days, and we'll book in another one of these when I've got it all ready. Thank you very much for coming on, guys, and uh, yeah. I'll see you in about a week. That sounds great. I hope so. I mean, we're on death row. Don't take too long <laughs> because that, that call from the governor well, might not come. One one thing I did realize is the uh, you know your your how you got on death row. Um, there's actually a documentary about I think ten medical students who did that same thing with a mental hospital, where they pretended to have certain you know, mental problems. Oh yeah, got I committed I got committed for it. And then every single one of them got misdiagnosed as actually having something serious, even though they had, there was nothing wrong with them, and got trapped inside a mental hospital for months until they could convince them that it was all just a fucking test. Well, yeah, that, that, and also the movie Brubaker, uh, where Robert Redford is the warden, but he goes in as a prisoner, uh, and then 
but he comes out okay. Mm. I don't. I'm having to eat this shit yeah. for the last meal just to fuck with you. All right, Doug Stanhope, Bingo Bingerman, thank you very much for coming on. I'll be back with you in about a week, and we'll see what fucking awful concoction I've come up with. I'm looking forward to it, because I just got this fucking caviar in the mail, and I want to eat it right now, but I'm going to save it. Save it to eat in front of you. <laughs> All right, baby. I'll see you, I'll see you both soon, and uh, thank you for coming on. All okay, right. bye, love sweetheart. You. All right, I love you, bye. I'm home soon. <laughs> Okay, so creepy Uncle Stanhope has not left us with a great deal to work with. Neither has his lovely wife, partner, lady, bingo. I mean, we, we, we can make jelly, right? I mean, that's like making something. That's kind of like cooking, sort of. So we're going to make jelly. You made jelly before? Oddly, I hadn't, because I don't really fucking like jelly. But we're going to make jelly. So to make jelly, you need a pack of jelly. And what you do is you add the jelly to a pint of water and then you leave it and then it turns into jelly. It's really complicated stuff. I thought to make it nice we'd get like a, we've got like a bunt cakey thing so we can make a big thing of jelly. Um, and he also wants fruit in his jelly, which turns out not the easiest thing to do in the world. I mean, you can get it so it all kind of sits in the same place, but to get it to actually evenly distribute throughout the jelly, you have to set the jelly in layers. So we're going to have a go at doing that as well. It's going to be quite difficult for you to see, but I don't fucking care because this is that's jelly. Right, so first thing. This thing here holds about three and a half pints of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to do about three and a half pints, but we're going to do it in three stages and we're going to layer it as we go. So I need in here half a pint of boiling water. Boom. That was easy, wasn't it? Into that, we're going to break up our cubes of jelly. Any Americans out there getting pissed off that I'm not saying jello yet? Good! This is made of dead animal sinew, by the way. Lovely stuff. There's a, um, a serial killer in. I think it's Canada, yeah, uh, called Robert Picton, who basically murdered loads of prostitutes or sex workers and um, put them in barrels and sent them off to the local rendering plant. And the rendering plant is where they take all the bits of pigs that, you know, are useless and they don't can't use for food, and they melt them all down and crunch them all up and turn them into this paste. And that paste is then turned into things like jelly and treats for your dog and fucking wine gums and polos and sweets and you know just loads of really nice tasty things that you eat ever makeup i think i think they make makeup out of it so yeah a lot of people in canada were putting dead sex workers on their face for a while bit of a bummer that anyway takes a while for this to like dissolve So we're gonna get two of these things of fruit. Now these have got fruit juice in them. So I'm gonna use this fruit juice, uh, if I don't spill it all, to top this up. Cause it might take, make the jelly taste a bit nicer, you know. Cause it's just like fruit water, maybe. Oh. But you need to top this up with half a pint of cold water and then you just bang it in here, stick the fruit in, let it set. Do another layer, fruit, let it set. Third layer, fruit, let it set. And then your fruit will be layered all the way through your jelly instead of just being all at the top. Because I think the fruit floats. So it'll all float to the top of this, which means that when we flip it, it'll all be at the bottom and the top will be empty. Right? 
Oh, the other bingo's food. Cottage cheese. V8. Hot sauce. That's about it, really. I'll, uh, I'll wait till Doug's here and then I'll go microwave that. I'm sure that'll be good too. Um, we're gonna leave that to set for an hour or two. It's cold as fuck in here, so it'll be fine. And then we'll come back and we'll do another layer. Dead exciting. I'll probably just come back when it's all done because you don't need to see me do this again, really. Welcome back, guys. Not gonna say I've been looking forward to this, but <laughs> I have both of your meals pretty much ready to go. Um, Bingo's took a little bit less effort than yours, Doug. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is because it because I mean I couldn't microwave it in advance, obviously. So we have some Creamfields cottage cheese. We have V8. I couldn't get the hot. I didn't know they had V8 over there. I thought you're gonna have to blend your own. No, I got it. From, <laughs> uh, I managed to get it from Costco. But um, and I've also got some. Um, I couldn't get any Joby Spite sauce, unfortunately. But I've just got some like Carolina Reaper hot sauce. So we're just gonna stick a little bit of dab of that in there with it, just to, just to spice it up. So, how much? How much of this do you really do? How much cottage cheese do you have? Uh, it's about half. Half, okay. Put about a half a cup of V8 juice in there, in a microwavable safe bowl. Yeah, I'll, I'll empty this out into a proper bowl before I before I do <laughs> it. Okay, so so about half and half of both. All right, okay. Bear with me. Yes. So while that's going, um, I've got the Jello ready to. Sorry, I, I have all my, I have all my ingredients ready to go. I was going to eat mine with you. Oh, okay, but, uh... perfect. All right. Well, I'll get bingos out and ready, and then I'll bring this. So I've got everything all ready at once. All right. I'll make I'll make mine while you make yours. Okay. What, so what I've kind got... of? Hang on. So I don't overdo this. <laughs> okay so i have some tesco thousand island dressing all right do. Which is about I as close just... as i could oh. get i i ordered some of that but it's not turned up yet so this is the best i could do this turned up via courier today ah, <laughs> same brand Go same on. brand <laughs> yeah i had to get this from the states we have lumpfish caviar. Yes, I mine's mine bigger than yours. Augustine brand. Oh, mine's a uh, Linus. There's a lot of dye in it, uh, the, especially the black. Uh, the red, not so much, but the black. You're gonna, yeah, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna shit a dark, uh, dark bluish green. I mean, I shit black pretty much every day anyway, so. <laughs> I don't see color unless it's in my feces. <laughs> can, I, can I get some kind of fanfare or something? Yeah, well, yeah, get, come closer. And let, 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 let people take a... Oh, it's, oh that's the jello mold. This is the jello oh, mold. Yeah. So, All right. as you can see... I had, to do it in, I had to do it in four layers, sorry, three layers. So I sort of let one layer set, put the fruit in, then the next, let that set. So then the, the fruit suspended all the way through, just like you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I never knew how they did that. I thought it was magic. It's like <laughs> aqua fresh toothpaste. It baffles me every time. <laughs> <laughs> so are you ready for this? I don't know what's going to happen here. All right. In fact, I should probably do this. There you go. There you go, baby. 
You ready? I just really, I, I just recently figured that. Oh, I just the recently the, figured that the bowl trick out for omelets. Yeah, just fucking. Yeah, <laughs> these two pans and fucking just flip it over rather than try to fucking do it with a spatula. Yeah, that's all right. Right, you ready? Yes. Oh, wow. that is great. I like the porn sound effects. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, God, that's great. Okay, now, now lift up your shirt and shake your belly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's more jiggly? Yes! <laughs> yeah. I want to see both your hands above the table while I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So I have a heart shaped spoon. Yeah, I have I have this guy. Uh, beautiful. Cute. So cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna I'll do like you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Wow. There we go. All right, let me if I squeeze this down a little bit. Uh, you're never going to see the fucking plate. All right. Okay, so what do you do next? Now dressing. Okay. I'm putting dressing on the jello. Okay. I'm going to do I'm going to do the front <laughs> half so that I can actually save the back half and and eat it. Yeah, why don't you why don't you go get why don't you go get a plate and just cut out a reasonable sized portion for yourself? It'll look or maybe, that is, maybe that is reasonable. Because it'll look way... Fuck you. Because it, it, it'll look way better on the thumbnail. Oh, God. This is great. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. Next. Not the bacon bit. Not the bacon bits. Bacos. <laughs> okay. Salty. Salty. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. And disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like us. <laughs> All right. Hold that up. Hold that plate up. Bingo. Okay, I got it. All right. Okay. Don't before, go too crazy with the caviar. Before, before we dig into this, I just want to grab my uh, my camera. Deep pocket. There you go. Okay. And yeah, you will you will notice uh, pretty pretty quick that the color will start leaking out of the black lumpish caviar, and that's what's going to be in your poop tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to get a nice big spoonful with everything on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, hack. Here we go. Cheers. 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 You can hear him crunching too. I actually like it. <laughs> <laughs> I could totally eat this. I mean, I raised the level of difficulty by using a very small spoon with the booze shakes. Mm -hmm. A small spoon with booze shakes. Yeah, it's Olympic. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me get. I'll let you eat yours for a second. So I now have a bowl of what I'm assuming Jackie Onassis was combing out of her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Is she a I was just going to say, I'll explain that joke to Bingo afterwards. She's great at laughing at what? Explain. I said, she's a, is she a best? Yeah, who is she? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> J JFK's wife. 
Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> She I was in the seen. car when his brains got blown all over her. Oh. So there. That's there. the thing. She, you'll always get the laugh with Bingo, and then yep. you can explain the joke to her and get a second <laughs> laugh. <Yep. laughs> Describe to me uh, how is that? It, 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 did that it, looks right. Did it get all poofy? Um, a little bit. It gets a little bit squeaky, but I think our cottage cheese might be a little bit different to yours. That's all right. It'll work. But I've got to say. This is fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought in fair play, Bingo can't eat that right now because of her diet. Mm -hmm. so I thought in fair play, I would try it. And then I said, no fucking way am I eating that. No, I don't blame him. It turns into chewing gum. Just but Bingo, take it. Bingo, he's going to. Uh, yeah, go on. Go on, Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. All right. Chew it up for a long time. It's so good. That's fucking tasty. It, uh, <laughs> it's not good. It's just... It feels like you've got a mouthful of fucking tadpoles. <laughs> <laughs> fucking horrible. Give me one more bite. Oh, my God. Fine. Bye, hack. Come on. <laughs> Big... Yeah. <laughs> Dad. I think this should be every episode. You should find someone, people who actually like some weird shit oh. that you have to eat. <laughs> if you're making something delicious, what's the point? I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my entire YouTube career. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You, you be open to change. Um, well, I've, I've gone from recording another episode today where I was making French onion soup to this. Yeah, but this is more fun. I mean, there's a, I'm sure if you ask your listeners some re really weird shit that they eat, I, I would like even peanut butter and banana sandwiches are disgusting to me, and a lot of people eat. Stuff like that. Oh, I with, think... potato, with potato chips on top. Ugh. Even better. Yeah. It got crunchy then. Uh, but I'm sure you, I'm sure your viewers have some things that... Uh, but the thing is, they should have to eat it with you. Yeah. What, the thing that they like? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that may or may not make you puke. Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to finish either of these. <laughs> I, I already imagined you sitting Indian style in sweatpants watching another episode of Friends on fucking BBC Five or whatever, <laughs> all alone crying with your shirt off with that whole jello mold in your lap. And as you're eating it, you realize, oh, if the plate wasn't here, I could fuck this. <laughs> That's about it, guys. Yeah, I, I, I thought I thought maybe you should uh, finish the whole thing, but I, just just watching you having two 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 bites of that <laughs> fucking bingo concoction. Yeah, you know, bingo could be a regular guest with all the shit she. I forget about the she used to make uh, get whole wheat tortillas and then coat them in a, a thick layer of uh, Splenda <laughs> fake sugar and then microwave it. And the entire house would stink like Union, New Jersey. It smelled <laughs> like a chemical plant and, until it became this kind of glaze on top that hardened and then she would eat that. Is this what happens when you get pregnant with insanity? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go and do something with all this. Um, thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, just throw, throw a Brillo pad on one end of that Jello mold and, you know. Take it from there. Play make-believe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so alone. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I'll catch you later. Thank you very much for coming on. Love you both. I'll Love see you too. too.
stop all this foolishness and come over, come back over here. There you go. There yep. you go. Yep. Come back to Bisbee. I will. I'll see you soon. Another fat guy could.